Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some Europa Universalis 4, the Art of War expansion. So we're going to try to uh, knock out a pretty fun and I think fairly easy achievement before the El Dorado DLC or expansion goes live. This is the Switzer Lake achievement. I'm very excited about it, it's a very cool concept, pretty, pretty creative, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, the goal is to play as Switzerland and to own 99 provinces, but a port ain't one. So we're going to not be allowed to expand to the coast. So we're... <laughs> I'm gonna add an extra restriction on it as well. We're gonna eat France. We're, we're gonna... we're gonna take, like, like, I want the French land. I wanna eat this land right here. It's gonna be our land. Um, just so we have a little bit more of a challenge, because otherwise I think you just kinda play the game for a while, and that's fine. But, um, yeah, sounds like a, a pretty fun achievement. Also, I'm gonna see if you can actually do this achievement with Random New World on. I haven't actually tried using Iron Man mode with Random New World. I don't know if it's gonna affect us at all, but we'll, we'll put it on just for funsies. And, uh, let's go ahead and give it a shot. So we'll call this the Switzer Lake achievement run. Start Iron Man. Let's do this. Random New World creating continents topology. We've got uh, the Auto Man guy here. Wonder what he's up to. Where is that? Uh, is that uh, that's the Ottomans, right? Is that Suleiman, Suleiman, or something like that. I don't. I don't remember. I'm just saying random words. Whatever comes to mind. Okay, so uh, you know what? I've actually never played as Switzerland. I, I really don't even know. Let's see what our ideas are. Oh wow, we started as a republic. A governmental form where the state is governed as a republic relying to a great extent on strict organization of political matters and bureaucracy. We start off with a 5-2-1. I wonder if that's random or if that is scripted. I think it's scripted, I have to assume. We get national manpower uh, modifier plus 10, infantry combat ability plus 10, and if we actually get to the uh, the late stages of the game, we'll get 5% bonus discipline for completing three idea groups. We get the Swiss Confederation, stability cost modifier minus 10, mercenary cost minus 20, Alpine defensiveness, fort defense plus 25. That's a pretty nice little bonus, maybe. Uh, we also get the, uh, you know, the mountains. That's nice, too. Oasis of peace and prosperity. Cost of reducing war exhaustion is reduced by 10%. A little bit weak. Religious unity plus 20 is very strong. Yearly prestige, meh. Production efficiency plus 10%, meh. Um, definitely the ones that I'm kind of excited about would probably be the mercenary cost, because we might need those. Um... The religious unity is nice, but I don't know if we're going to need that long, that much time. I mean, we're not going to be playing that long. And we do start off with how many provinces? We've got one, two, three, four, five whole provinces. We do have two cores on Savoy. I'm assuming Savoy, yes, they've rivaled us. Now, I think, um, since we've decided that we're going to attack France, it's only fair that we can't be allies with France. That would just be silly. So let's take a look around the map, see who likes us, who doesn't like us. Um, actually, maybe we can do that best by sorting by opinion. And seeing, uh, like, who, like, likes us. Does anyone like us? No, no one likes us much. So we can't actually see opinions. Who's rivaled us? Baden has rivaled us. Milan and Savoy. Okay, so two of our neighbors. And Baden. Baden is, I believe, also a neighbor. Yep. Well, Baden would be the easiest for us to fight. And they have no allies yet, but they will get some. Hmm. Who hates Milan? Milan has rivaled, um, yes, us. Their enemies include Ferrara, Genoa, Mantua, and the Papal States. The Papal State would be a natural ally um, against one of our rivals. Savoy is only enemies with uh, Genoa. Genoa is just a, such a flake, you know? I really don't like Genoa as a country. Having land over here and having islands and stuff over here, they're, every single province they own is like disconnected. I just don't like Genoa at all. Austria is uh, a little bit friendly. And they are the Emperor, of course. I think that they're going to be uh, somebody we want to at least improve relations with. And Bavaria is already friendly. Well, we're going to go ahead and dive on that opportunity right away. Um, what about Burgundy? Burgundy is neutral. Could be swayed to our favor. Naples, of course, in the personal union under Aragon. Aragon is neutral. Steel is neutral. England doesn't care about us. Bohemia doesn't care. Poland, Switzerland, none of these guys care. They're, we're too far away. Okay, what kind of advisors do we get to choose from? First, do we even have enough money? We have two ducats a month. First thing we're going to do before we even do anything is probably lower maintenance, because I don't think we're going straight to war, are we? We could attack Savoy straight up, but that seems kind of risky, don't you think? Well, we're going to counter-rival Savoy, because they've got our course. It's just, it just makes sense. Uh, we're going to also probably want to counter-rival Baden. It, I think it only makes sense to rival your rivals just because you don't want to have, like, extra enemies on top of the enemies that you already have. Like, they've already clearly declared their intentions. And I'd love to get a hold of Lombardia. So, yeah, we'll, we'll counter-rival uh, Milan, we'll counter-rival... We'll just rival them all back. How do you like me now? Huh? How do you like me now? 
We do have Morale of Armies guy, very strong in the early game. Uh, we've got Missionary Strength guy, useless. For now. We've got a uh, Trade Efficiency guy, and Diplomatic Reputation guy, and Better Relations Over Time guy. Better Relations Over Time, not useful, because we have no negative opinion modifiers. Diplomatic Reputation is very good. Very, very good at securing extra alliances, and potentially getting people to join wars that they wouldn't otherwise join. However, Trade Efficiency, I don't know, are we making any money from trade? Let's see how the game set us up trade-wise. So our land is primarily in the Genoa node. We do have, um, oh, I, I apologize. No, I'm completely wrong. We have none, none land in the Genoa node. We've got most of our land is in Venice and in the Rhineland node. Currently we have 3% here. Where did you stick my merchants game? You put one in Veen and you've got me collecting in Venice. Wow. Well, that just seems filthy. Um... So a change that they made in Art of War that uh, it was confusing for me at first is that if you have no merchants collecting at all and you only have merchants steering trade, then every merchant that you have gives you a 10% bonus to your trade power in your capital. So that might not be very significant um, at this phase of the game, but like 4.2, we could have 20% extra here um, on top of this whole thing. Like it could be, it could be good, it could be good an extra two trade power. I, I don't know. We're probably we're making the vast majority off of last month. How, how do we get 1.32 and now next month we're going to go down to 0.6. Whatever. Let's not even worry about it. All right. We're just going to, we're just going to let some time go. You know, maybe we don't want to, don't want to go to full, lower full maintenance yet. The fact that we're a Republic just blows my mind. I did not expect that. I thought we'd be a, mon a monarchy. Alright, we have a few missions available. Claim our rival's province of Brezgau, which is uh, Baden. Uh, improve relations with Venice. We could get some tiny bit of prestige. Or improve our prestige for free stability. I think we'll go for the free military power. See if we can get that early tech 4. Um, we're also going to retract our vast, our um, diplomats, because we, we really need to take advantage of whatever we can here in the very beginning. So we'll get that claim started. Um, and I'm going to, I know, I know some people aren't going to like it, but I'm going to do the send and retract whole thing um, as often as possible here. To see if I can get my opinion up with more people in the very beginning. Okay, we can get one more improved relation in with somebody. Who, who's the other person you think we should probably pay attention to? France, we hate, so we probably want to be friends with Burgundy. Um, is that going to work out for us, though? Being friends with Burgundy and Austria? Huh. Probably not. It's probably not going to go so hot. Come to think of it. Couldn't hurt to improve relations with France just a little bit so that they uh, maybe don't attack us. They're going to be pre a bit preoccupied with stuff for a while, but... You know, you never know. We have two available force limit. Five infantry and one cavalry. We could we could probably afford two cavalry, but I think we'll just stick with um, infantry. Nothing but infantry and the one cavalry, because... Yeah, I just, I just think that we don't have any money. We have, like, no trade income at all. Form the German nation. Country changes to Germany. Germany gains a claim on the German region. Okay, um, yeah, I was totally going to improve relations with people, and then I forgot. Definitely going to want the alliance with Bavaria. Do you think Bavaria would join a war with us against Savoy? I would love to get these cores back right away. Gosh, that would be so good. That would be one heck of a boon. Abandoned core? Hell no. Military access? Why sure? Come play in the Switzerland, the mountains of Switzerland. We have skiing and polar bears. Are there polar bears in Switzerland? I don't actually know. I feel like the music is really imbalanced. Sometimes it's really, really quiet, and other times it's really loud, and it's all because of the Guns, Drums, and Steel DLC. I blame that DLC for our problems. I'm playing on speed 3, which feels very slow compared to what I've played on in the past, but I feel pretty good. As long as we don't pause too often, it's a pretty acceptable speed. Uh, we will continue to double up on Bavaria. So every other month we will retract, send it to some couple other people, and then send it back to Bavaria. So every now and then we're getting bonus opinion with Bavaria. All right, let's see. So um, our enemies, yes, are, are that. And your enemies, you've got some alliances already, Provence and Savoy. Oh, hey, that's great. Yeah, our next door neighbors are both being friendly. They both hate me, but they don't both hate each other. That would only be too fair. Um, but if, our, if we're able to get, become friends with, like, a neutral attitude towards Switzerland, that's supposed to be our attitude towards you basically how that works. Um, yep, tying up the first one of the first diplomats with a uh, 
acclaim certainly slows down our ability to improve relations, but it'll be all right. And why don't we get one more little tick of opinion with you and you. And then we'll go right back to Bavaria. See, I think Bavaria is a pretty fairly sizable strength uh, guy. They've got really high base tax. I mean, look at this. They've got 14, 12, 6, 6. I mean, that's a lot of base tax for four provinces. And Bohemia, on the other hand, would be nice too. Who hates Baden? Does anyone else hate Baden? Alsace. Alsace hates Baden. So you'd be a natural ally or one province minor. I don't think we want to mess with you. We might want to wait until Austria's like in a war or our ally. Because otherwise, it's going to be bad. Hmm. Since we are a prince, we're part of the empire, we can attack within the empire. We don't have to worry about Austria defending anybody. But it would still be nice to be allies with Austria so they don't, they don't do that horrendous, horrendous province modifier that is um, unlawful territory. That is not something I want to mess with. But if we're attacking Savoy, they won't do that because it's not unlawful, because we have course. Only six base tax, but... Still, I still want it. Six more base tax? would be great. I mean, we only have 21. That'd be like, a lot. It's like 30% more land. Can you have a successful Switzerland campaign without taking back your cores right away? I bet we could beat him. Take up defensive position in Wallace. He'd be like William Wallace. It'd be awesome. It's probably going to come down to our roles, too, on our first leader. All right, um, I'm going to chance hiring the diplomatic reputation guy. There goes, like, all of our money. And we're still working on Austria. Let's change it up and see if we can get this guy over to Bavaria here again at the end of this month. And the reason I'm not going for the alliances straight up is because you get more, you get bonus, just more opinion every time the ticks happen, the closer they are to zero. So it makes sense to improve relations first, um, just to get them a little bit higher. So, the thing is, can we get Austria? If we had a royal marriage, they'd probably be willing to accept pretty quick. I think we're going to secure... Because you didn't rival Bavaria or anything, did you? No. Okay, we're going to go for the alliance with Austria, then Bavaria, then we're going to declare on Savoy. If we declare on Savoy, that's going to bring in Ferrara and Milan. Milan's got nine. Ferrara's a, like a one-province minor at the start. Nothing major to consider. Ooh, leads a personal union over Modena. No, they've had that. Okay. No big deal. On the other hand, we could attack Baden. They are allied with Austria. That's not good. And Bavaria, of all people. Oh, hey, how about that? If we were to call in Bavaria and Austria against Savoy, and then have them do the work, I could totally attack Baden, and no one would be the wiser. All right, that could work out for us. Let's just, uh, yeah, we're going to improve relations with Austria a bunch. What do you want to do for the next mission, do you think? Placate Austria. Yeah, yeah, it's totally what I'm doing. That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm trying to placate the, uh, the Holy Roman Emperor, because I don't want him to bother me when I try to take land that's not supposed to be mine. Obviously. Okay, so, um, the main thing we need... We can do royal marriages, right? No, we can't! Our government does not allow us to make royal marriages. Damn. Never mind, we can't get the bonus 10 reasons for, uh... For the alliance. It's gonna be very difficult, then, in that case. To get Austria to do an alliance with us. Their opinion, I believe the number is what, divided by 5? What is it? Yeah, 5 would be... close? Or is it 3? 4. It's four. Every four opinion gives us one reason. Can we get... Yeah. Yeah, we can get another 36 opinion. Easily. We just have to get them up to 100, and then they'll totally do the alliance. All right, well, that's the plan. That is the plan. We'll go speed four while we wait for that to happen. I love this early game, like, trying to figure out how the hell I'm going to make things work. This is, this is like, the, the most challenging part of EU4. Getting the ball rolling. I'm going to hire that guy, too, when we go to war. And you know what we're going to do? We're totally going to insult somebody. Land technology research useless. Oh, that goes all our prestige. It's fine. Fine, we don't need any prestige. Uh, hey, hey, Savoy, you... Your mama is so fat. Uh, an alliance offer from Mantua. No. No. 
Nope. Nope. You're far too small, Mr. Mentua. There needs to be a, uh, a diplomatic, like, like a relationship map mode, like the opinion that people have of each other. I think. Uh, let's also go into message settings and set uh, best guess, because we get some pop-ups about our neighbors and stuff. Alright, so we got this war going on, we got the French war going on, all that's normal. Uh, Savoy and Milan are not currently doing anything. Venice has declared war on Ragusa. Unsurprising. Really. Alright, stop and start again, just because I really need to uh, make this happen. Reasons for an alliance at negative three. That's just another 14 opinion or 16 opinion or so that we need then. Let's wait till the end of this month. It will retract. That is not the right country. And then we will resend. This is going to work out just fantastic. Just you wait. We've got to at least get the first wars declared. And we'll have to... Maybe take a break. Hey, England, sure, come on, hang out in Switzerland. We have nice territory here. What are you doing over here, Burgundy? Burgundy, what are you doing? What, what are you doing? What, what, what are you doing? Attacker against Urbino and the Papal Conquest of Ancona. Man, Papal State really didn't, uh, they didn't hold back at all. Normally Tuscany goes for Urbino. Wouldn't be surprised if one of them declares, but yeah. You ended up at war with Naples and... I see you rub Yeah, okay, you'll probably win, but you're going to take some losses while you wait for your, big your bigger brother to get down there. Okay, stop and start one more time. It's so close. It's so close. Being possible. There it is. We've placated Austria. Improve relations with uh, that. Take Brezgo. That bonus 25 sounds pretty good. Improve our prestige. Not likely to happen anytime soon, although that stability is pretty nice. I think we'll take Brezgo as our mission. And then um, what we're going to do is uh, stop relations, stop relations. Go for that quick alliance. We cannot ask Austria for this because we have a negative opinion of them. Allied to rival. Huh. The fact that they're allied with uh, Baden is preventing us from doing it. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> well, I can ask them for military access. And then if they do just like a tiny bit of improved relations. Could you improve relations with me, please? Or offer me an alliance, please? Pretty please. Austria. Pay attention to me. I'm special. Austria. I hate that. Attitude towards human. Their attitude determine it's, it's entirely up to them. Not. Numbers. Numbers are preventing me from doing things. Alright, I'm going to risk going for the alliance with Bavaria, and hopefully this doesn't upset the balance of, like, relationship stuff with, uh, you. I just need you to like me, please. Pretty please. Would you please improve relations with me? Please, please pay attention to me. I'm special. I'm the most interesting character nearby you. You should totally, totally send a diplomat to improve relations with me. Please? Please? I'll insult you. I'll do it, Austria. Oh, man. Alright, so we've maxed out relation with them. They have no interest in us. Well, we might just have to play the waiting game, and, I mean, eventually, he's currently improving relations with somebody. You know he is. He's subsidizing Augsburg and Baden. Baden, why would you do this? Um, he's currently improving relations with Baden. So what's your other diplomat doing? Why are you so concerned with Baden? Baden's a little jerk. I shouldn't have rivaled Baden. Hmm... And we do have border friction with Austria. We need we need them to like us, though. Him being the emperor, it's just going to have to happen. Austria's declared succession war on Hungary. Interesting. Milan is no longer a valid rival for Switzerland. Well, um, that doesn't change much. Personal union with Hungary. Are you serious? Oh, that's that's... That's glorious. That's good. That means that Austria is going to kick the crap out of Milan. Okay, well, this this changes everything. Um, yeah, uh, our new rival is going to be who? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Württemberg, maybe. We'll probably just roll with two rivals for now, since having three didn't help us much. We could embargo these guys. That might not be a bad idea. 
Uh, we can always cancel that. Yeah, issue the embargoes. And yeah, okay, well, not a huge amount has happened in this first video, but it's going to be fun. So I do look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching, as always. If you'd like to show your support, feel free to click the like button or leave a comment or any of those good things. It does help out a great deal by promoting YouTube search results and all that stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you again in the next video. See you soon.